Okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier here with your subscribe to Mike Messier YouTube channel. Almost Mike's Instant Movie Review. Mike's uh, Instant Movie Review, almost. I saw the movie Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul yesterday. Uh, by the way, Kate Spain presents Bad Girls with Good Tattoos. Great new book available on Amazon. Buy it. Uh, by my publishing company, Open Chair Books. I saw the movie yesterday, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. What did I think? Um, different, different than I expected. I was expecting, you know, because I love all cinema and I've seen more than my fair share of what you might call African-American led films, The Best Man, Waiting to Exhale, etc. This felt like, it, I mean, just the title of the movie thought I was gonna see like, kind of a spiritual fucking film with like a bunch of characters and a bunch of actors and maybe Omar Epps or something like that. Maybe Vivica A. Fox. But um, no, this was a different animal, baby. This was a parody, uh, kind of like The Office. You know, like I used to, or well, I still do, act. And I remember that whole 2005 era Every time I do a student short film or whatever the fuck, and I said, well, what, what is this type of comedy or how are you filming this? And all these asshole kids would always say, oh, well, it's like The Office. Oh, well, it's like The Office. And I didn't watch The Fucking Office at the time. And I got a little resentful of The Office because I'm like, why am I in all these goddamn movies sleeping on the job here on my channel is one of them that are like The Office. What's this Office stuff all about? And only like... Only about three years ago, I started watching The Office, and I really do enjoy it. So I guess I missed out on the party train. So all the people that are like, oh, Mike, you gotta watch Stranger Things. Well, I fucking will in like 15 years, okay? That's how I work. Uh, I'm too busy doing other things. So I'm watching this fucking, uh, God, this honk for Jesus, save your soul. As I always say, look at the producers. The producers are the stars on this one, that's fine. I'm sorry, I can't remember everybody's names. I've seen these people before, they're good actors. Uh, good chemistry between the husband and the wife, but basically the storyline is, there's this you know, Southern Baptist Church, Atlanta, Georgia, mega church, but then there's a scandal, and there's a documentary film crew kind of recording uh, their comeback. They're trying to make a big comeback on Easter, but in the meantime, this up and coming young pastoral couple, because there's money to be made in the church, by the way. So that's part of this, the, the lessons here. This young and upcoming couple is, is taking uh, some of their uh, congregation, as they call it, and uh, taking advantage of the fact that the big mega church is on hard times, if you would. And then we keep going forward in the movie. So it was pretty good because it was a lot different. I thought it was just going to be like a uh, you know, Medea goes to church type of movie or whatever the fuck. But this was much different. I enjoyed it. Um, it's actually on Peacock Network. So if you have Peacock, uh, you pay $5 a month to watch Peacock. And you can watch The Office and watch this movie. So I uh, I enjoyed it. It was different. There's one or two things. Um, I guess it's a fucking spoiler coming up. Uh, excuse me. There's this whole sexual allegation stuff in the movie against the husband, and it's kind of like, okay, did he have a bunch of sex with a bunch of women, or was he somehow molesting young boys? And it's like, we kind of get both, throw, and I'm, I'm just trying to decipher it because it didn't make much sense. There's accusations that he's sleeping around with other women, and then there's like this other kind of story that doesn't get fully developed of... Was he somehow bringing young boys into this or bringing them into his bedroom or what the fuck? And we don't really get any fucking answers on that. It's kind of like a double mojo. Did he fuck around with other women or did he fuck around with little boys? and Or young men, I should say. Because they're more like guys in their uh, teens or 20s. But it's like, I'm just telling you what I saw. Maybe I misinterpreted, but I don't think I did. I think that they just, they didn't fully develop this idea. They didn't. Uh, tell you 100% what the hell was happening. It, a little bit of vagueness, a little bit of ambiguity, which I suppose is fine. Um, but, you know, 
it kind of leaves you like that's the risk when you do one of these artistic movies or you artistic ending you risk alienating some people but i'm a pretty open-minded individual i enjoyed the film i enjoyed the performances uh, the couple of course was great the other couple was actually very good too the up-and-comers uh so that's it so if you i mean this is not a, it's, i think the thing is i think a lot of people like me are going to assume that this is like just a christian movie but uh, it's not it's more of a parody of the whole church situation uh, and the southern dare i say black church uh congregations and whatnot so interesting topic uh bold movie uh, so would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Uh, safe for pretty much all adult audiences. Unless you're fucking got your nose up the Bible 24 hours a day and you're going to be offended, uh, blasphemer. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, folks. You have to go out and enjoy the world as evil as it is once in a while. Because that's all we fucking have. So, I mean, you can sit around and read about Noah and the Ark and all that. But eventually you want to see a movie once in a while, too. So I would suggest uh, this movie is worth watching. It's not a horror. Uh, it's, <clears throat> I guess you could say it's somewhat in the path path of waiting for Guffman or uh, Best in Show, somewhat, but more like The Office and it really just kind of a unique movie. So I give it a big thumbs in the ass up, a big thumbs up. I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you go see it or don't. Uh, but subscribe to my fucking channel. Watch all of Mike's original movies. That's me, by the way. Uh, and watch Messier Mantra and all my wrestling rants and everything I do. Watch, watch, watch. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now I'm leaving. <laughs>